Long break to Torres, Ken Patera. This should be a really a good bout, uh, Vince. We have Patera here, who's, of course, a powerhouse strength-wise. Also, since he took off weight, moves better than ever. Also, it's vicious and more vicious than ever. Against, you know, Dominic has been around a long time, but really... We really no sway in that ring. Dominic is very, very sharp. He himself, the size-wise, they're close to the same weight. And it should be really a, a good action bout. So let's hope it doesn't disappoint anyone because I'm, I'm looking for a really a, 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 a bout full of action here. And I suspect that Inouye let it all hang out, so to speak, because Dominic knows he's in there against the rule breaker. He knows he's in there against a, a shortcut artist. And I suspect that Uchi will fight fire with fire right from the outset. Uh, you can't believe on that because especially Dominic knows, uh, as you say, Patera very, very well. He knows what his capabilities are. He knows uh, that he's capable of this kind of stuff, kicking and punching. And Dominic, you know, he'll, um, he's got that Italian temper. You, you push him and he'll come at you with, uh, with those fists like two bombs at you. Patera right back on him. Uchi kicked out. He tries it again. Dominic. Trying to stay away from Patera, but Patera right up on his throat now. Dominic rolls right back now. He's up on his feet. Well, Dominic's a gentleman. You know, he's a nice guy, but when he stuck his head out of that rope, he should have drove a knee right in his back because Patera shows no mercy for no one, so why show him any? Working on the left arm now. And also Yank of the Air as the Grand Wizard a moment ago was pointing to it. If, you know, if Danucci worked on his arm and stayed on it, really punished it, that'd be good psychology for the bout against Patera because Patera's extremely strong. You take the use of or weaken one arm on him and it's going to take a lot a lot away from him. So maybe that's what uh, Dominic is trying to accomplish here. But he is staying on uh, Patera's left arm and he and is well he should. And certainly uh, someone who relies on strength so much as Ken Patera does, if you weaken him and uh, injure him, that's going to have a psychological effect as well. Exactly. exactly. Oh, wow. Patera now coming on the outside with Danucci. Scoops him up. Patera slams him to the canvas, kicked him in the chest. Goes to show you the type of competitor Ken Patera is. That's concrete floor out there. That will hurt you. That will hurt you an awful lot because he's a concrete, especially with his power, the way he can drive you. Oh, boy. And here we see Danucci on the outside. Patera coming over a moment ago, ramming him into the turn buck on the outside. That's uh, again. This is the style of Ken Patera. Oh, nice block by Danucci. <laughs> Dominic has Patera in the corner, going to work on him now. Ken Patera, raking the facial area, turns it right back around. Danucci hesitated there for a few seconds. I wonder why. I, I, I didn't understand that. Whoa. Patera continuing his assault on Dominic Danucci. Patera, a merciless type individual. If he has an advantage, boy, I'll tell you, he's going to keep it. Very seldom is it turned around on him. Dominic trying to stay on the inside. Having some success now, working to the inside. Hey, Patera's looking hurt right now. Danucci's gonna keep it up, and he should, don't stop right now. He should stay right on him here. Big buckle. Rip to the buckle. Patera reverses it. Patera, look at this. one of the most clever but at the same time one of the most despicable things a so-called champion has ever done 
Absolutely. The clever, I should say, but very much illegal. And he got away with it because the referee was too busy down to not fall the heads. He saw Danucci's shoulders and he went for the pin. undoubtedly one of the craftiest one of the more controversial champions and there we see the referee over with Dominic assisting him Dominic has nothing to be ashamed of it was a hard fought match now the doctor over taking a look at Dominic let's go back now take a look at the way Ken Patera so called defeated here we go now watch this here as he hooks Danucci's legs he throws himself off with his feet on the back. Referee not seeing, comes down for the count. And then look at Patera's legs. Both stand over the top rope, taking all the leverage away from Danucci, and there's no way he could have kicked out of it. Ken Patera. We shall return, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue in just a moment. the Samoans, the tag team champions of the World Wrestling Federation in the non-title event. There's no doubt we'll see very little in the way of scientific knowledge and, uh, and displayed here in this match. Here we go. Following is commercial in nature. The beautiful Menin Arena of Morristown, New Jersey will be the setting one week from tonight for an all-star match spectacular second to none. Seeing action on the card will be Mr. Pat Patterson. Mr. Patterson every day gets more and more fans supporting him in his exploits in the World Wrestling Federation. And Pat Patterson indeed looking forward to seeing these fans one week from tonight when professional wrestling indeed comes to Morristown, New Jersey's Menin Arena. close-up view of uh, Albano's face, Bruno. It seems to me that I don't know what he has done to it. There isn't much more you could do to it, is there? Uh, I don't know, but I think he's found some sort of way. As now the Samoans double-team Rene Goulet. Triple-team. Well, what they did first, they got Gomez out of there, and now they've been on uh, Goulet. Goulet, of course, is the more experienced and the tougher of the two. Ah, there we go. Rene Goulet turning things round on the Samoans. Gomez back in with a side headlock. Not for long. Leap front. Samoa turns around. Drop kick. Backs the Samoan up a bit, but that's about all. Shoulder block. Gomez backs himself up. Albano. Looks like Albano looks like he has rings of some kind in his face. Yeah, now how in the world do you get those in there? I mean, they're pinned onto his face. Well, I guess they have to put a, what, a little hole around his cheeks? Oh, there, you can see that he has... Oh, look, you can even see the bruise. I think he's a little softer than we actually thought he was, Bruno. It's oh, I never had one. any doubt. Oh, that. Well, I, I had some, I must admit, but I think he's taken that one step beyond. What you're saying is he's beyond uh, what is it? The, the uh, the, what's that? The point of no return. That's what I'm trying to say. I think he crossed over that fine line, but you can't knock him in terms of. Uh, 
our tag team championship combinations are concerned, he has managed now the, this makes the ninth tag team championship combination. Well, he certainly has the record. He's had more tag team champions than any manager in the history of wrestling. And in these two, uh, the two Samoans, uh, they may, uh, uh, let's hope not, but uh, they may be around quite some time uh, with these titles. Whip to the ropes. Alpha lifts him really high with a back body drop. <laughs> hey, yeah, you look at the Samoans, and I wouldn't be surprised that uh, the Samoans didn't influence Lou Albano with putting those rings through his face. I wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me to see one of these Samoans come out with a ring in his, through his nostrils or something. Yeah, I was going to say, he's got two in his cheeks. He should have one in his nose now. Well, he doesn't seem concerned. I mean, Goulet is a very fine wrestler and a veteran who's been around a long time. But in Gomez here, we have a younger fellow who really has not been around all that much, not all that experience. He's not all that big in size. So the Samoans, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't have too, too bad of a time. And Albano knows this. Sika in there now against uh, certainly the more inexperienced Angelo Gomez. Oh, Goulet coming after Albano. Got a shot in there. Knocked the fat man down. Tag is made and now Alpha comes through taking over on Angelo Gomez. Look at the hair of Lou Albano. What is that? The mange? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like all of a sudden he's gone gray on the side there. Looks gray to me, is it? Or is it blonde? Gomez having no effect on Alpha. There's that goofy Lou Albano. Look at him. Boy, one look at that face is... And you know, just like the old thing, a picture's worth a thousand words. What you're saying, he and the Samoans kind of belong together, huh? There's no doubt.